Hey group, hopefully this video finds you all well. I've got a bit of an update, what we've been up to. April's almost done, so it's week five, week six of the coronavirus, as it were. I'm gonna tell y'all what's going on, <laughs> what we've been up to, and kind of give you another peek at Zach Fowler's 30-day camp out here. It's been a year and a half since he did his challenge and rocked the heck out of the Texas Expedition. Uh, back there in the back, you have his table, and it's still really sturdy. I'll show that to you in just a moment. Yeah, needs a little bit of spring cleaning out here, a few weeds picked, but it's remarkably in good shape. It didn't rot near as much as I thought it would. So the chair over here, it's grown a few weeds, but there we go. Still works, no creaking. So really really good to know he was using the persimmons for the tree for the uh bench here and the persimmons not cracking it's pretty awesome uh down here you have the fire ring all those awesome meals cooked down there all in good shape though i'd kind of uh hesitate putting a fire in there right now it'd probably all go up in flame the other chair is not really fared very well looks like something tried to use it a few times and uh, didn't really understand how to be a human or how to use a chair. Now look here. Pretty good. Needs a few of the uh, lashings tightened up. But for the most part, it's ready for Billy Mays or Zach Fowler to come around. Well, Billy Mays had to come back from the dead. But Zach Fowler to come back around and uh, knock it out again. There's Huck for everybody that's wondering where he's at. And Huck's been very busy. The last thing over here. This is Zach Fowler's uh, bench that he had underneath his hammock that he built. Looks really good. It's all in one piece. These did crack a bit whenever I sat on them, but different type of wood. So, a little bit of knowledge there. Huckleberry, what's going back, bud? I'm trying to find my way back to my cart and talk to y'all for a little bit about what's been going on without losing my head to the branches. So, we have had to come back from West Texas, from the Buffalo Trail Scout Ranch, the High Adventure Ranch out there in West Texas prematurely. Uh, got off trail, been taking folks out, had a wonderful, wonderful horse ride for several days. Neat group, they decided to bring a pineapple on horseback so that was something new that was novel I was all about that but uh, coming back to civilization the world was burning everything was on fire everything's changing all the news is coming in and so instead of staying there we headed up and headed back to South Texas uh, within a couple days after that the folks within the county the sheriff the precinct shut the camp and the areas down anyway so we wouldn't have been able to stay out there since then as you can see things have gotten green out here in south texas so humidity's up heats up we have a huge garden going i need to remember a lot more about gardens not enough organic material in there a lot of sand it's drying out really fast and i haven't been to the store in a little while so if y'all have any ideas, I got a lot more sand than I thought I did. And so some of the garden's kind of struggling. Huck is also taking care of a ton of baby chickens. A ton is 19 chickens, by the way. That's chicken tonnage, chicken weight. So we have 19 chickens. We ordered 20. One didn't quite make it. Uh, 10 browns and 10 Easter eggers. So far, I, I like the Easter Eggers a lot more. So I'll be showing you that and a montage of building a chicken coop and give you a tour of my garden when I'm not so embarrassed by it because it's, it's coming up slow for everything else out here that's so green. I gotta find some organic material, but I have chickens now, so that should fix the issue. It should fix it very quickly. Now, as far as the update goes, I attempt to find my way back out of here guys 
I left the monster card out this direction. The light's just failing. Now, we're having to come up with plan B and plan C these days because uh, things are changing. We usually like to volunteer our time at a BSA camp. Again, there for the Buffalo Trail Scout Ranch. I run the horse program, trying to just fix stuff up and enjoy myself and meet a lot of fo folks and train them on how to do stuff on horseback. And Sean and I have a wonderful time out there volunteering for the BSA. Lots of high adventure work, lots of backcountry work. Uh, no better place to be. We're not sure if that's gonna work or not this year, this season. I'm lost. Time to go around. So, we have been conferencing in the heat of the day with a whole lot of other YouTubers, a lot of groups, and a lot of friends trying to figure out some contingency plans. We got some good stuff out there. Hey, it broke free. Check it out. I'm gonna follow the dog from here on out. And to make sure that we have some options. Because by the time that June is up out here, camera systems no longer run. And the human body is shortly to follow after that. The amount of heat, the humidity, doesn't allow you to really cool down. So I can be out in the desert in the dry heat, 110 degrees, and everything works just perfectly. I can even run a, an iPhone with a black case out in the sun. But here in South Texas, with all the humidity, it can be 95 degrees. Oh shoot, more trees. And uh, because of the humidity, the heat never dissipates out of electronics and it shuts everything down. So I've got to figure out what we're gonna do about June, July, August, September. We've got some options. Really hoping camp gets to open up though. It's an amazing place. If you're a part of the scouts, you should plan to go. If you're not part of the scouts, why aren't you yet? Come be a scout. I'm so close to the cart. So we are looking at some survival adventures. The crawdads are growing in the creek like crazy. The forest obviously is green. The cactuses are about to be ready. All the fruits come into term better than it has in many years. We've got some other stuff going on with some magazines, some TV shows, all kinds of appearances and things. Everything's just up in the air right now. So cross your fingers that we get to do some awesome stuff because that's what it's all about. One way or another, we'll probably be in the river in the next few weeks because it's cooler there. Check out the cart. Don't judge me too much. I got plans for it. It's my monster cart or Huck's cart, I promise. I do have upholstery for it. I do have Bondo for it. Plans and plans, always stuff to do. But folks, I'm gonna try, drive out of here with the setting sun. I'm definitely hoping everybody's safe out there. Kind of rambled on, walked around a bit. I know that I'm blessed out here to have this beautiful property to be able to roam around on and do stuff and stay busy. Uh, more busy than I'd like a lot of times, but I am blessed in this way. I hope everybody else out there is doing all right. That, this videos, that these videos uh, bring you some happiness, or at least there's some solution to all this at some point. So if you have some ideas of some of the videos that you'd like to see happen on this channel, I'm all about doing a bunch of small segments, short segments to put here on Barely Survival. Because uh, that's what it's here for. It's not going to be the hardcore survival stuff, but I can put some one-off tricks on there that nobody else has seen. Or if you have some curiosity about some place on the property or a piece of gear, I know I've got to show the big knife and talk about that at some point. But... Uh, yeah, plans and plans. Getting lost on my own property again. All right, well, it's time for me to figure out where I am. 
hope everybody's doing all right again being redundant but uh y'all take care everybody take care out there learn a new skill come out the other end of this with uh with something positive right there's always something you can do learn a new skill hucks on the trail of an army alone but be good i look forward to reading your comments and as always until next time bye guys come on huck let's go buddy i'm gonna leave behind Union dog. I was going the right way. I knew it. I knew it. I did not know it. All right. Let's go. Lead the way. Or jump in. It's a good dog.